Oh, no. Charlie's onto us. Extreme danger. Fred's got to hook that rope, otherwise she may drown. He's coming straight over and he means business. You can see it in his eye. He's coming over to take us out. Come on, Fred, hook it. Ooh, he's nearly got one of them. And he's on. He's coming straight at us. Go, Fred, go. We've got seconds left. Yes, the rope's off. But uh-oh, it's not over. Charlie's on to us. Ooh, he's asserting his dominance. He's trying to get over the top of her and show her who's boss. This is normal. This is natural. We're going to have to sit back and hope that he doesn't hurt her. Ah, this is it. He's got her underneath him. Perfect. Excellent. Yes, he's got a grin from ear to ear. A match made in heaven. When it comes to defending his territory, Charlie will kill anything. He doesn't care if it's a person or an inanimate object. Behind the scenes when we're filming, he's got no respect for the camera. And if it gets a little too close, he'll kill that too. Come on then, Charlie. Come on, boy. Oh! This is the saltwater crocodile. Largest crocodile on the planet. We're gonna take you on an adventure up into Cape York Peninsula into the drying water holes of the Normanby River to look at Australia's unique species, the freshwater crocodile. That was the opener for the last water holes of the Outback, our documentary on freshwater crocodiles. We've got a camera on a giant Jimmy Jib arm, which is a crane that cranes across the water. And Charlie doesn't like anything like that in his territory. And we take it one step too far. He's been watching it and watching it and hating it and hating it. And here as the crane comes in, in one five hundredth of a second, he spots it and what? Charlie! Here it is from another angle. Watch this. Whack! Oh, Charlie. no! Tens of thousands of dollars of equipment. But he doesn't stop there. Watch this. He makes sure he kills that microphone. He'll chomp right into it. Oh, no. And as we survey the damage, we get a good understanding of what 3,000 pounds of crocodile jaw pressure can do hard on the gear. That should be a good shot. We love our crocs. We love our Charlie, even though if he gets half a chance, he'd kill any one of us. And it's because he's carrying a lot of scar tissue. He's carrying a lot of pain from his tormented life. Are you a naughty boy? Can I give you a pat on the tail? He's a cute little crocky. Oh, oh, oh. You're all right, mate. You're all right. He's a good boy. Excellent. And this is why we catch crocs. We love them. Catching crocodiles in their territory requires a lot of skill and a lot of guts. I had the backup of me best mate, Wes, to try and get this croc out of her hole, which was a lair that she dug under a mud bank. This feisty female wasn't coming out of her lair. She dug the perfect cavern into a mud bank. We had to dig it out before we could even see her. And then when we spotted her, we realised just how big she was. I'm going to try and get a lasso on. And she proves just how difficult that can be. She's got her jaws wide open. Oh! Wah! She grabs hold of the stick and bites it ferociously. The lasso slips off. We're going to have to go again. Whack! By crikey, she's aggressive. You can't blame her. She's backed up in the cavern. We've dug it out, and she thinks that we mean her harm. Thank goodness she doesn't just charge out and grab me by the leg. But crocodiles aren't evil monsters. She's just protecting her home. Now that we've got the top jaw rope on, she's struggling. She's trying to use her body, her legs, to fight and to resist. This bag will give us something to chop on and cover her eyes.
she has one final gallant effort. And me and me best mate, Wes, jump on and use our bodies to secure into the mud until we can get a good rope on. And now we got to try and get her into my dinghy. And she weighs a ton. The sticky, grease-like mud and the incline of the bank has made this one of our more difficult captures. Thank goodness I've got my best mate, Wes, helping. Although it feels like I'm trying to lift him and the croc in my dinghy. Here we go, we're on the final stretch. Just stay on the head, mate, whatever happens, ride it out. Come on, girl, come on. Oh, yes, she's definitely a girl. What a muddy, feisty Sheila. We couldn't relocate her back into the bush, so we set her up with a boyfriend named Akko. He's my largest wild-caught crocodile. Watch the way the big old crocodile materialises out of the dark, dirty water. And here she is, Connie. She's still encrusted with mud and Akko positions to get a good look at her. I'm just going to try and drag her down into the water while Akko's up against the bank. I should have enough time to get her in. But before I do, I've got to get one more rope off. Ooh, he likes the look and he's coming over. OK, there's a blindfold and rope off. Just get that blindfold. Yes, she's good to go. Ooh, he likes the look of her. Under she goes. Beautiful. She likes the look of him too. Crocodiles are just like people. They love each other. And even to this day, he defends her with his life. Imagine being a farmer with a crocodile in your backyard. There was this croc that was killing chickens and eating them and hunting the farmer's livestock. So he called me in. I've gone into the water hole with a net and started prodding around, located the croc. The spotlight went dead on me and I was in the dark with this croc and it was bumping into my legs. And here we are in far north Queensland. You can see the croc sitting on the bank. So Terry and I have to catch it out. I can't say I blame the farmer. He's sick of it killing his livestock and he doesn't want it too close to his homestead. He's also got young children. It can't get back to the river system, so if we can just hook it in the net, we'll be able to relocate it back where it won't have a conflict with people ever again. But it doesn't come that easy. Running the net's just fine. Ooh! And I locate it, it touches my leg. Luckily enough, it doesn't bite. You can see the stick I'm manipulating into position to try and get it to bite so as I can mesh its teeth. If I can't get the monofilament net around its teeth, we won't be able to catch it. I can't find it again. It's in here. Oh, there it is. Bump me again. Crocodiles aren't just mean and aggressive and bite a human's leg. Even though I'm in its terrain and the light goes out, it doesn't turn on me. Right. Can you believe it? The spotlight's gone dead. Now I've got to do it by torchlight. And she's encircled in the net. It's just a matter of manipulation. I've got the stick under her belly. Oh, here she goes. Oh, straight into my leg again. Mouth shut. Oh, looking good, looking good. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it loose. You can see I've got all the mesh around me now. If she fights and struggles, we'll get a good mesh. Run around. Come on, hit it! Oh, bite it, girl, that's it. Terry, get round here, get round here and grab that net.